This training has given us an open platform so that we are able to know issues affecting us at our respective locations. As far as child or child rights violation is concerned, it is our appeal to the government, to our leaders, that we need to get closer to the county commissioners in addressing our issues so that our people are given the necessary support they need. We have a lot of issues at the grassroots, issues of humanitarian support, education, health. Some of our counties are severely affected by floods. It is my appeal to the other commission and the government representative who are here to consider our request as a county commission and that we need to have a platform where we can once hear the interact with our leaders, the leadership of this country, so that we bring problems near to our leaders so that they can find a possible solution on how they can address our problem. My dear commissioners, my last message is that let us embrace the spirit of South Sudan. We are South Sudanese. <laughs> Irrespective our, of our administrative locations, our identity is South Sudan. So whenever there are challenges, let us not be taken taken up by our simple identity as regions, as tribes, as families. This cannot take us forward. We want our country to be back to its better future. We want us to be recognized as a people of sea. We have a reason why we went for liberation struggle. We have a reason why we became an independent state so that we administer our own issues. So I think with this uh, interaction, we'll be able to share contact, share information, to share our challenges, so that during our platform discussion, we'll be able to address some of these challenges. I thank so much the organizers of this workshop, especially the unions, uh, DDR, and other government stakeholders. My wish is that let us get in touch. We should not only end our interaction here, but even after this training, we need to engage uh, in communication with each other and find ways on how we can address our problems and make South Sudan prosperous again. May God bless all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Emmanuel, uh, who represented the Commissioner. Very important point. There must be a platform where you raise issues. And you see how to look at embrace peace. Uh, don't look at your region or your country and so on. You are one people, let us make this country great and let us get in touch as we go from here. You have known now yourself. Uh, I'm moving to the second guest speaker who is the the big boy to this important training. Alfred Rono Rono, the Chief Child Protection Chief at the UN Mission. Uh, my brother, welcome. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you to uh, my commissioner from Water, Matalova, Jawa, Nakaraloi, the guest of honor, uh, my brother Lualwa, my brothers and uh, sisters, uh, very important people in this country, my colleagues, who I'm always grateful to for the work they do to make sure that uh, we bring everybody together. My brothers, the facilitators, who have been on my side for the last uh, three, four years together. I was waiting for this opportunity for yesterday for a long time. You know, I started from the army, I started with the soldiers, I brought the division commanders, then I brought the sultans, I brought the JVM, the journalists, but I was waiting for the most important people before Christmas, and they are here since yesterday. 
Thank you very much for your participation, for your contribution, and for your accepting our invitation. Now, if I ask a question, who are the leaders of South Sudan? Look to the person next to you. That's the leadership of this country. The future of this country is in your hands. There were millions of people in South Sudan, but there are the few who have been selected to be the leaders. So take this leadership seriously. It's not a job. People have chosen you to lead them. So lead them at bad times and good, at good times. When there's a problem, like the issue of child protection, you have to be on the front line. You have to take the leadership to ensure that these things are eradicated. If you eradicate the sixth grade violations in, in each of your counties, then there's no more violation of children in South Sudan. You just think about it. If there's no violation of children in from away north, south, from Tonj, east, west, from Ruoto, from uh, Lobonok, from everywhere. That means there is no more violence of children in South Sudan. And the country will move on. So please, let us take this responsibility seriously. And this country will be the country that a lot of my brothers and sisters dreamed of. A lot of them died during the struggle for a better South Sudan. Now it's in your hands. A lot of you were young people back those days. I don't know. I don't think any of you was over Geisha Nakesh in 1983, 84, 85. Maybe you are, I mean, maybe the guy and the, the soldier. But most of you are probably the sons and daughters of former child soldiers or former uh, liberators. And they died so that this country is good. Now, think about. I think Kennedy is going to say that. Think about what, not about what your country can do for you, but what you can do to make South Sudan a better place for everyone, for all the children. That's what you think about. This piece of blaming each other should stop. Because you are all in one country called South Sudan. And if you blame each other all the time, then you are not going to move forward. So come together as leaders and work on the issues. Development is not going to come on its own. It's going to come from you. You are the ones who give direction to your people on what you want. I want to repeat my request to you that bring yourselves together in a forum where you share ideas, where you resolve problems cattle rustling, of killing. You call your neighbor from the other county and say, what's the problem? You identify the problem, you sit down and you resolve it together. If you establish yourself in groups, organizations, then it's easy for the government, the, the national government and the state government and the United Nations to help you. And stop this thing of looking at the UN all the time, UN, UN. UN is going to go away. UN is not for this country. You are the ones who will stay here in this country. Learn to resolve your own issues. Anything, anything simple, all international community should bring us together. No, 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 no. You should be bringing ourselves together to resolve issues. And we are going to start with the child protection. As you heard the other day, we are the first people to go to every barracks in South Sudan. SPLIO, SOAR, SSPDF, we are moving across this country before the process, before the government of national unity. We did not fear because we said that everybody was South Sudanese and was for a South Sudan cause. I don't want to take a long time, but please, my message is clear. Take the leadership in your hands, organize yourselves as the leaders of this country, provide a direction for your people, identify the issues that need to be resolved, identify your partners, and make your, your problems known. If you organize yourself, you make a request to the UN, 
who are going to come help you. Do not allow the UN or anybody to tell you what you want, what you should be. It should be vice versa. You tell the UN what you want, the UN to do for you. Not for them to tell you. For example, someone tells you need a bridge here when there's no river. You know about that. The ideas have to come from you, not from us, the UN. You tell us what you want, and then we can see how you can help you. That's how this country is going to develop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Alfred Ororo. Thank you for everything. Despite of economic challenges, finance, you are able to bring different groups for capacity building because they are the stakeholders. You said something. Think about your country, what you can do for your country. Okay? You have learned a lot from here. Think what you can do for this country for the sake of your children. Identify problem, share with those who are there in your county to help you. Okay. Now we are coming to the last guest speaker, uh, Honorable Wilson Rualuan, who is the acting executive director and the DDR expert. He is coming here delegated by the chairperson of the DDR to close and on behalf of the government of the Republic of the Sudan, of, of South Sudan. He is representing the government. Thank you, Honorable. Please welcome. Thank you, Honorable Andrew. Uh, let me say, my friend, Corono, the big father of children, uh, my comrades, the commissioners, the facilitators, big people here. Let me say we have a new level. For real, it is my pleasure to be here again to say a word of farewell. Farewell to all of you. When I was opening this workshop, my thinking was I was opening it so that the Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs comes to close it. Yet, today, I got another delegation that the Minister of Defense has just arrived and is now at the airport, and the Army Secretary is there to receive her. So, I am here again for you. I'm not going to talk because everything has been said by this group. What I want to say is that I wish you safe journey back home. I know all of you have not been here in Europe for a long time. You have been on duty. And now in Cuba, all of you will want to see what you want. So I will, I, will, I will not take much of your time that you should be spending by the panel to give you a repetition of something that has already been said by our colleagues. A few things that I can say is actually an appreciation. I want to renew an appreciation that I have given to Orono uh, yesterday with regards to his continuous support. On behalf of all the partners that are supporting this action plan, this guy here, I have no way to describe the appreciation that he gave. You have heard what he is talking here before. It's not a UN speech. What he was saying here is not a UN speech. It's something of a South Sudanese. It was imparting to you, it was encouraging you not to think about UN, but to own this exercise that you are doing. I was happy, I almost clapped. Because that is, he has an occasion that what I have always done. Let us own this activity. This is not a union. The action plan is not, is not, is not about, is, is not about the protection of children or the UN. It's about the protection of our children. So let's own it. I want to say thank you very much for always being with us in supporting this, uh, this action.
pension fund. And then I also not forgetting these very important people here. All of you tested them, not me. You heard from them. You know how much you benefit from them. These are the human resource of South Africa. They are everything for us. They have given you everything that we are supposed to do. Then we you deserve. So I thank you very much for committing your time to impart the knowledge and prepare these people. I believe by now all of you are well packaged, all of you are well prepared, you are going home knowing what you should do as a commissioner to prevent the violations of children, to prevent the attack in the schools and many more. You know the boundaries that you are confident now to do to exercise as far as the actual plan is concerned. What I want to repeat is the issue of DDR that I said before. You are going home, ex communities will follow you, and some of them are already in the communities with you. There is nothing, we have no option at South Sudan than to do DDR. <coughs> Having peaceful communities is the only way out for us. There is no peace that we can have when all of us are armed. There is no peace. Because that is, that is the noise we do whatever you do with the gun. And whatever somebody does with a gun that is not authorized is always illegal. Please bring our minds together before we have finished all the other fronts. The only front we have now is this arm that we have, is our guns. They put our guns down so that the investors come in, they put up factories to take our youth so that we are relieved from unemployment over here. So that our youth are trained. Some of us individually made contributions. The contribution we made is in papers now. We are speaking from that viewpoint. The only way I would like to help is what I mentioned. As commissioners, take home DDR ownership. It will follow you. You have had our president say after graduating the forces, the next thing is to do DDR. All of us now are prepared. Once the graduation is over, we will all embark on DDR. How to do it is something that the